So the next thing is uh, constructors. What is a constructor? Constructor is a method or a function that is automatically called when an object is created. So it is automatically called. Do we need to provide constructors for every class? No, we don't, but 99% it's recommended that you do. Okay. Why? Because you have to initialize variables in almost every kind of class that you're going to create. So it's better to provide a constructor for every class. For me, I recommend you 100% that always provide a constructor to a class. Even if it does nothing, you should define your variables, etc., that you need in the class in the constructor. Okay? So, for instance, when we create the object register equals class name, empty parentheses, whatever the class name is, the constructor of this class called cache register is automatically called. Okay? So in Python, how do you define a constructor? Constructor is, like I said, just another method, but it has specific uh, syntax. What is that syntax? Starts with a def keyword, then has two underscores with no space in between. So that's what you see here. When we say def underscore underscore, there is no space, but these are essentially two underscores, okay? So remember, it's underscore, underscore, then you write the word in it for, short for initialize, okay? And then you provide two more underscores, okay? And then inside, obviously, no param uh, 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 parameters, so you're just writing self. And then inside, you're doing what with that self? You're defining two variables called item count and total price. So up until now, I've disregarded this underscore. Do we need this underscore? These underscores we don't. These in the initialize we do. But these are just variable names. It's just a convention. I'm just writing an X on it just to remind you that these are not required. You could have just written self dot item count. Works perfectly fine. And in fact, for myself, like I tell beginning programmers, uh, maybe it's better for you. So you don't think that this underscore is always required. This is just a part of the variable name. Why people in Python prefer this to write in this? Because they say that any variable name starting with an underscore is a member of a class. Just, just like a separate naming convention. But again, these underscores are not required. You could have just written self dot item count. So item count is a variable. When we say self dot item count equals zero, so we are initializing value to be zero. Similarly, the total price is being initialized to zero. So coming back to our constructor talk, so all what's happening inside this constructor is that you're setting the values of these two variables to be zero, okay? Another example. So let's say we have a bank account class, right? So in this bank account class, the first thing we're defining an uh, a constructor. So remember, constructors have no specific names. So every class, when you do a def in it, by default, in it means that it is a constructor. Okay, so underscore underscore. So this constructor is taking a variable called initial balance. 
with a default value of zero. So anybody who opens, let's say, a bank account will have an initial balance of zero by default. So again, what's happening inside is that you're creating this self dot balance or underscore balance to be whatever that initial balance is. If a value was provided, that value will be here. If no value is provided by default, it is zero anyways. Okay. So the balance is the variable that we are concerned about. So balance is a member of this class called bank account. What is initial balance? It's just a parameter. It's not a member of the class. It's a parameter. The member of the class is whatever is being set inside the constructor. Okay. So if we create Joe's account by just giving the class name, so note the difference here. So they, here, there is no input being provided in the class object, okay? So what happens is that it calls the constructor, like you don't need to call it, the compiler automatically calls the constructor, it comes here, it sees no input, so by default, it gives zero to this variable. So Joe's account dot balance will be zero. On the other hand, if you create the object with a value inside the parentheses of the class name, notice the difference here. Same class name, no value same class name a value so when this is given like 499.95 so it comes here 499 takes care of this initial balance dot 95 so initial balance will be now or self dot balance will be set to 499.95 okay so that's the difference that when you create a constructor with the uh, nothing a default value may need to be provided if this equal to zero was not present here and you call this then the compiler will give you an error that i need a value for initial balance something of this form okay so recap constructor the syntax is def in it sorry, underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore, then self, always the first parameter, comma, any parameters that you need to take in. And then you write whatever parameters you need to set inside the body of the constructor. Right? For example, given here. So these things, this slide is just a recap of what is being initialized. I hope you will be able to understand. Again, same thing, we've already seen that. Okay, one common error is that you, when you create an object of a class, some people try to do call the constructor dot in it. You cannot do that, or you don't need to do that, okay? Because whenever you do this, the constructor by default is called, okay? So here is a general rule also, that if you define anything with a double underscore, never call it. You never call that function. So hence, you never do this thing because it's with a double underscore, you never call, do this.